Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jane. I post videos every Thursday and this is where I lived. For those of you who do know who I am, who are subscribed to me, hello, good to see you again. So today I am going to sort of give you a tour of my home my renovated garage and just kind of like tell you guys what it's like living here and why I live here with my family and things like that. Um, answer any questions you guys have. So a while ago, I asked on my Instagram story, it's Jane Dylan Horner, follow me if you haven't already. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video about what it's like to live in a garage and the vast majority of you guys said yes. And by the way, most of the people who said no actually DM me later and said that that was a mistake and that they meant to say yes. You guys really wanted to see this. Might not make sense why I live in a garage, but it's actually really, really cool and I'm excited to tell you all about it. So, a couple of things I wanna mention. First thing, for anybody I've told who didn't believe me that I lived in a garage, it's not an exaggeration. Um, it's literally a renovated garage that has a second floor, fully air conditioned, power, water, everything. Like, it's just a tiny home with a garage door as a wall. So no, it's not an exaggeration. Second off, even like in response to my Instagram story and sometimes in person when I mention it, it's not like, oh my gosh, like poor me, like I live in a garage. Like I'm, I, sometimes it just comes up as a matter of fact, like in conversation, like in college talking about where we all live. And I've definitely gotten a response before of like, oh, you do, like, I'm so sorry. I just want to make it clear that like, I am in no way ashamed that I live here. I love living here. It's in my favorite neighborhood of Los Angeles. It's super new and modern and cute in here, no pity at all. Like I'm not looking for it, I don't need it. I'd rather it be small and cute than big and lonely. So, okay, now that we have gone over all those disclaimers, let's get into the tour. All right, so when you walk into the garage, you can see that the first floor is the bedroom, uh, the kitchen, the living room, and um, sort of an omni room. We have everything. So the way our kitchen is set up, it's sort of on a corner, as you can see. So we have, um, I think, like really pretty white cabinets and sort of gray uh, stone countertops. And getting everything to fit in the one pantry is a bit of a squeeze, but it always prevents us from wasting a lot of food just because we don't have that much room to store a bunch of stuff. And same with our fridge. It's small. We don't tend to over shop a ton because we just know we won't be able to fit it anywhere. So we waste a lot less food and spend a lot less on groceries that we wouldn't end up needing, which is great. One of my favorite things about our kitchen is that we have these open shelves with pipes running down the side and I just love that design. I think it's like really cool kind of industrial touch, um, but it still feels really friendly and warm because there's cooking materials all over it. So it just automatically feels cozy. So I really like this kitchen even if there isn't like a ton of space in a massive island or anything like that. I think it's great. It's also so easy to clean because you only ever have like two counters to clean, so yes. Also a heads up, we don't have a dishwasher, so we wash all our dishes by hand, but considering it's only my mom, my sister, and me here, we all are pretty good about washing our own dishes, so it doesn't tend to turn into too much of a problem. All the cabinets shut with that like soft touch feature, so you can never slam a cabinet. Next to the front door, we have this sort of like shelving unit and it has these little hooks on the underside of it. And we hang all of our face masks there and like anything that we need by the door. There's a little spray bottle of um, like alcohol to use hand sanitizer and there's some like alcohol wipes in there just to make sure that we're really being safe. So now we are going to head to the living room, living room area, which is essentially just our big coffee table, big glass coffee table. And I sort of consider like the TV as part of it. And then we have these two sort of big armchairs at the foot of the bed. So we'll sit there sometimes and just like watch TV if we don't want to sit in the bed or at the dining room table. These two dressers are where my mom and I keep most of our stuff. Um, it's been really easy for me to store everything in just the right side one because I don't have any of my things because they're all stuck in college. So I'm definitely gonna have to get through and um, sell or donate a lot of my clothes when 
I bring them all back from school because I have more closet space there than I do here, but it honestly helps me keep, you know, shopping costs down um, and really focus on having the clothes that like genuinely make me happy and that I want to have, not just like random shirts that I've had since eighth grade that I never wear. So that's really helpful in terms of just living a minimalist life. And then we have this sort of open closet situation where my mom and I also keep our um, longer hanging items like jackets, dresses, everything like that that would normally be hung. And this is where we keep our yoga mats as well because we've been doing a lot of workouts together. So we keep those there and then we just have the garage there. We have the guitar there. And above the TV and above the sort of counter area, I guess, over my dresser, um, we have this air conditioning unit which heats and cools the house really, really quickly because it's a small space, so it takes like no time for it to be the temperature that you want. What I really think is cool is that it's remote controlled, so it's like a very modern looking machine and it works really well and you can just like change the temperature from bed, which I think is very cool. And another fun little tech gadget furniture thing is that the light next to the TV has a like Wi-Fi smart plug on it so you can tell Alexa which we have as a speaker right there you can tell her to either turn on the lamp hmm, I'm not sure it's okay never mind you can tell her to either turn on or turn off that light again you can do it from bed or from anywhere in the garage because there's really nowhere um, where she can't hear you so it's very handy for that Alexa turn on the lamp behind the TV Alexa, good night. All right, so now we get to the bedroom area of the garage, which is sort of right behind the living room section. And it's essentially just this California King bed. Um, and a lot of you are probably gonna be startled by this, but my mom and I do share a bed while I'm here and while I'm not at school. Um, and it might be an issue if we didn't get along so well. We get along really well. We never fight. So um, it works out really, really well. I know not all mothers and daughters could pull off something like that, but I'm really, really grateful because we work with it. My mom sort of has her side where she has her bedside table and her dresser and things like that. And there's a really nice window that actually lets in so much light when we open up the shutter. So she just keeps her stuff and makeup and all other clothes and things like that over on her side. And on my side, I sort of use this ladder bookshelf as a bedside table of sorts. So I keep all of my electronics there, which are really poorly organized. If anybody can offer any help organizing, please let me know. But I just keep everything that I want next to my bed there. Also, my favorite thing about this section of the room is that I have my espresso machine also on that bookshelf, so when I wanna go make a latte or whatever, just a shot of espresso, I go over there. Um, the machine I bought was $99 at Target. So, if you walk up this... So there is a staircase that used to be on the outside, but we renovated it to be on the inside just because it made a lot more sense to kind of make it a more cohesive house and floor plan. So they're over there. And when you walk up the stairs, that leads to my sister's room and the bathroom. So my sister has a very nice room on the second floor. She has the best lighting in the house. Not really fair, but okay. And the reason that she has her own room and that my mom and I have to share one down here is because uh, my mom moved here when my sister was at the end of her junior year in high school. So I was still at college, so my mom had this downstairs as her room and my sister had the upstairs. But when I'm here, my mom is still trying to let my sister have her privacy because I had my own room all four years of high school. So I think she's trying to make it a bit more fair and give my sister the opportunity to have a little bit more privacy just because she deserves it. So <laughs> neither of us really have a big issue with it. When she goes off to college, then we're gonna have to reconsider and figure sort of what the room situation is. But for now and until she goes off to school in the fall, that is her room, that is her space. And just for the record, like whenever she's not using it or not home or if I need a little bit of privacy too, she's really nice about letting me sort of like spend some time up there, use her desk for homework or whatever. So no, no issues there, which is really great. The tricky thing is that since we only have one bathroom, which isn't really an issue because we're three girls, so there's not a huge problem there. We do have to sort of sneak through my sister's room in the morning in order to get to the bathroom, um, which can be tricky, but we've mastered how to be really, really, really quiet in the morning um, and essentially walk silently across the room, which is useful, I think. 
Anyway, but it's a nice size bathroom. It has two big windows that let in a lot of light. Um, we have this sort of almost trapezoid shaped shower and I don't find that there's any issues in terms of storing things or anything like that. And we never really run into issues of like, we all need to use the bathroom at the same time just because my mom wakes up like two hours before I do and then I wake up and my sister wakes up two hours later than I do. So it, we just all tend to use the bathroom and shower at different times, which is nice. The thing that I love the most about this garage is that we have a wall that we can open and close whenever we want, um, depending on how we're feeling. As you can see, this entire wall is the door, which we can open. So I'm showing some footage of me opening it. Especially if it gets a little stuffy in here or if someone's cooking and it gets smoky like we can open an entire wall let all the light in and it feels like we're in some kind of like cool cabana on vacation or something so basically the way the setup works is my mom's best friend lives in the house that like our garage is sort of connected to so it's never like a privacy issue we're like really really close as families which is great so we can all like spend time in the backyard together when the kids are here um, we just got an outdoor pool which is really fun all right so I'm going to answer a couple of questions you guys had on Instagram. So first question is why did you decide to live in a garage? Um, it wasn't something that I particularly decided, like it was something my mom decided, but definitely talked to us a lot about. Um, and it just works really well because renting a house is insanely expensive in LA. So it just felt like it was kind of meant to be like Trisha, who's my mom's best friend, had this garage that she was like kind of renting out to like Airbnb and things like that, but she didn't really like having strangers so close to the house. And we were spending way too much money on a house that was like in a neighborhood super far away from like everything cool in LA and like way too expensive for what it was. So we sort of came here. We figured we didn't need a ton of space because my sis I was already in college and my sister was about to go to college. So it just sort of worked out. And like, I honestly couldn't be happier here. So there's no, like no part of me that's like, oh my God, I wish my mom didn't do that. Cause I think my sister and I are both really happy here, which is cool. Another question, what kind of privacy do you have and how is it different for your sister still being in high school? The fact of the matter is, is like, I don't have a ton of privacy, but I don't know. Like I don't need a ton. If you have to change in front of your family, you have to change in front of your family. Like I honestly think it's harder having a limited amount of space. I don't think it's hard sort of having my space be exposed to the rest of the house. Cause like, I, like, I, don't, I just don't mind it. Like some people might be really self-conscious about it. And sometimes I get self-conscious about it. And like, if I shower, I'll just bring an outfit up to the bathroom so I can change in there. But like most of the time it's like, well, why would I be so hesitant about it? Like this is my family, I shouldn't care. So it ends up being fine. <sighs> okay, so that's the end. My throat is literally so sore from talk. I, like I haven't talked this much in so long because who would I even be talking to? Anyway, so thank you all and have a great day. Please stay safe and I will talk to you guys in the next one.